you and welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. Yeah, hey, you're here. Thank you very much. Well, guys, as much as we'd like to move on, former President Trump is still in the news. We thought we drove him to a farm upstate, but he somehow found his way back home to the headlines. <laughs> yeah, last night, House impeachment managers delivered the impeachment article against Trump to the Senate. If you missed it, here they are walking it over. Okay, 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 okay. After 45 minutes, they were like, wait, does anyone know where we're going? It's like, no, I'm following you. I thought you... Yeah, it turns out half of them were delivering the articles. The other half were just getting in their steps. I say forget impeachment. Just having Trump make that walk would be punishment enough. It's like, it looked like a wedding when the DJ says, at table six, you can go to the salad bar. <laughs> Yeah, the walk was pretty long and drawn out. It kind of reminded me of something, though. Uh... Well, speaking of the former president, sources in touch with Trump have said he's, quote, bored out of his mind. Well, he was already out of his mind, so I guess now he's just bored. <laughs> Apparently, uh, playing 36 holes of golf every day isn't as exciting when you're not ignoring a global pandemic. <laughs> but today, Trump's aides were trying to cheer him up. They were like, good news, sir, your trial starts in two weeks. Meanwhile, President Biden's very busy, and today he spoke with Vladimir Putin for the first time since taking office. As soon as the call began, Trump was like, I feel a disturbance in the force. <laughs> but this is good. Biden actually pressed Putin on last year's massive Russian cyber attack. Putin denied it, but it got weird when he was like, by the way, nice purple tie. He's like, wait, we're not on Zoom. How did you know that I was... <laughs> I think you can tell Putin was used to talking to Trump because out of habit, he ended the call with, love you too. <laughs> Some tech news. I saw that Apple has issued a new warning to customers. Listen to this. An important health warning for all iPhone users. Apple warns customers that the smartphones could interfere with medical devices, most notably pacemakers. This is bad news for all the grandmothers who like to connect their iPhone to a chess mount when they do base jumping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It'll be weird when a guy is like, I love this phone. Hey, Siri, turn off my pacemaker. <laughs> and get this, I saw that Tyson Foods is releasing heart-shaped chicken nuggets for Valentine's Day. Or as I always say, if you want to keep it classy, go with the standard scratch-off ticket and beef jerky. Seriously, that makes an edible arrangement look like a diamond necklace. <laughs> yeah, you can sprinkle the nuggets on your bed and then uncover her eyes and watch her as she says, I'm going to stay at my sister's. <laughs> but they're on your side of the bed, honey. You can... <laughs> I could live, hold you up by your legs and you could just eat them off like a... <laughs> like a nugget stand, like a keg stand, but like, a, like an anteater. Look, I, I won't judge, but if your Valentine's Day plan involves the words dipping sauces, you might want to rethink things. <laughs> Speaking of food, Panera has created a new bread bowl glove for customers. <laughs> <laughs> yes! For customers who drink iced coffee in the winter. Look at that thing again. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, actually, I think the gloves are going to be a huge hit. Check out who I saw wearing them today. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you had a double loaf. Uh, have you guys seen the, the slow Zoom interviews that Vanity Fair does? Uh, they ask celebrities personal questions, and a camera very slowly gets closer to their face. They've done it with RuPaul, Tyra Banks. They just did one with Billie Eilish, and uh, I actually did one too, but uh, they had me do a fast Zoom instead. I, here, take a look. Fast Zoom interview with Jimmy Fallon. Take one. 
What's your favorite brand of toothpaste? Um, gosh, I don't know. Chris? What's your favorite late night snack? Um, probably, uh, it's probably just frozen, frozen pizza. It's probably frozen pizza. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Uh, uh, I like mint chocolate chip. What kind of sandwich is you like? Hey, get, is this how the enemy goes? <laughs> hey, is my compass here? Is this, cause, no, no, I don't want this one. <laughs> Get me off. How many slices will you eat if you left your own devices? I eat like two slices of pizza. Thank you so much. Wow. And finally, a 12 year old in Canada set a new world record when he stacked 693 Jenga blocks on top of a single vertical Jenga block. Here's a photo. Look at this. Oh. That doesn't look like Jenga, that looks like a wooden shawarma spit. Yep, the Jenga stack was cool until his little brother walked by and just went. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We have a big show tonight. She's a guest star on season four of Search Party on HBO Max. Susan Sarandon is here. <laughs> Plus, we're going to talk about his charity, the J.J. Watt Foundation from the Houston Texans. J.J. Watt is here. <laughs> and tonight is the night we have a performance from Thad Cockrell, everybody. Uh, and we're very excited about this. Uh, this is, oh, look at this. Pink vinyl. Ooh la la, ça sent. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, the song I, I, that I heard in, in, in a hardware store um, in quarantine, my first trip out in quarantine. And I went to the hardware store and I heard the song and it sounded like, like a George Harrison type of vibe or something to it. Or, and anyways, I just shazammed it and I go, what is this? Swinging. Going, if we're going to go down, we're going to go down swinging. It is so good. Because yeah, if we go, let me just play a little because you're going to already just crank up your TVs already. Um, say about 1.30, get in there, 1.20. Oh, no, no, earlier, earlier. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. If I'm going to go down, I want to go down swinging. Go down. I mean, dude, he hits the notes and everything. I was like, <laughs> what a uh, And I was just doing that in the hardware store. <laughs> I want to go down. I wasn't in the, ha I should have been in the hammer section. Yeah. You know? But uh, I wasn't. I was in the, uh, the, 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 was in the screwdriver light switch section. Yeah. I don't really know my way around. I'm about to do I was wondering what you were doing in the hardware yeah. store. What do you mean what I was doing in the hardware store? I'm doing what any... Uh, you just needed some man there? of the house. You needed some place to drive your truck to. Just well, look, my driver took the truck there, and uh, <laughs> so, Pierre, you're going a little fast, don't you think? Uh, so slow driver. down. I have a French driver, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I was like, slow down. You're making me a little sick, and I'm gonna, you know, uh, my caviar's about to come out. And uh, no, yeah, I took the truck. Uh, you know, I, I do like a, you know, like a. I, you know, like you slide into the window to get in the truck. Yeah. Yeah. I go in through the roof, the sunroof. Sweet. Really? Yeah. I leave the sunroof open and I hop out. I hop into it like a, like Super Mario. On a four by four? <laughs> it's a four by four. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean. That's impressive. I don't know what that means. Uh, four by four? Sure. It's four wheels. <laughs> four by four. Like, well, yeah. No, it's a hell of a jump. You have an incredible vertical. It's four foot by, it's a cube. It's four foot by four feet <laughs> truck. Oh. And, uh. Oh, no, I jumped from the second floor. <laughs> I jumped out the bedroom window and landed on my truck. And then it's already going on to a song. And I cruised out, went to the hardware store to get a light switch, like this, like a lamp switch. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's like a, that wasn't a, hmm. that wasn't an interesting, hmm. that was a hmm of doubt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a hmm of doubt. Yeah, no, I know what this is. So to put those clicker light switches on this, you only cut one of the w wires, not both of them. You leave the other one connected, and then what it does is it connects the, uh, you know, the uh, negative charge. You want to keep. Got it. Got it. You want to keep the positive. Really? You want to keep that positive you charge going. Yeah. Make sure you positive. unplug before you even mess around with this stuff, kids. Nice. But, yeah. Nothing so anyways, metal in your hands or anything. What's that? No electricity. No metal in your hands. No. Don't <laughs> stay away from water. Any liquid stuff like that. Okay. Just basic. Your basic electricity knowledge. Okay. And. Uh, so I did that, I was working, I was ready to work on that, like a project, and then my mind was blown. I heard this song, Swingin', uh, by Thad Cockrell. 
And I go, I never heard Thad Cockrell. And then I looked him up. I guess I, he's been around. So, I, But anyways, I was feeling that spirit of like, because we were doing the show from home and we were just like trying to just, everybody's trying to get through the day. And he was like, we just got to put on the best thing we can possibly do with what we got. You know, don't give up. Let's keep pushing. Let's go. And I was feeling that spirit. And then I heard that song. It spoke to me. I loved it. I asked our booker, can we book him? And, and tonight he's on the show playing with the Roots tonight, which we're very excited about. It's exciting.